Hey, what's up folks? Today we're bringing you a video of the unboxing of the brand new Yamaha DM3 digital mixer. Let's get to it. The Yamaha DM3 is the latest of their compact digital mixer series. This is actually is the DM3 standard. Let's see here. The DM3 standard, they make another model, the DM3 uh, D for Dante, which uses their Don, which uses the Dante system. But we're looking at the standard version here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. Now, this is actually my first foray into digital console mixers. Yeah, the first foray. I'm using this to replace an older Behringer mixer that I had. Although I was quite pleased with the Behringer, just for what I was doing, I was not pleased with the power source. So apparently Behringer has oops, issue with their power supplies not being very good. And although analog mixers are very inexpensive now. Okay. Okay. The shipping weight was said 22 pounds. So that's not too bad for a portable digital mixer. We'll go through what was in the box. Pretty straightforward fare here. Here is the piece of equipment itself. The instructions, let's see what we got. I will say this came hot off the press. Um, they had been out of stock or on pre-order. And um, I signed up to be notified as soon as they came in. And I must say that uh, the supplier was very quick to ship it my way. Twenty-two channel. I think 16 in, eight out. See that right there. Uh, I was curious on how, how, what actually uh, the bottom was like. I see that these are really just almost like just two places where you can grab it with your hand, but it's flat across the bottom. I thought it was may have the contour all the way across, but it doesn't. Fan. You have the. Your screen, of course your faders and your little buttons and your little touch and turn knob, your little encoder knob. So let's, let's fire it up. Of course, um, what comes in, in in the box, Yamaha instructions. Uh, looks like a Cubase AI download. And the power cable. <laughs> Got a four pin uh, XLR type connector, locking insert. I'm going to power it on. Okay, so let's just take a, a little quick glance around the mixer. Make this short and sweet. All right, so looks like the usual fare. You can, uh, okay, you can touch the screen to click through your first eight channels. It's probably a page, let's see. User to find keys. This section right here, user to find keys. Um, so we got input, oh, one through six. Input, there we go, input nine through 16. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Stereo, what is that? Oh, so that's your output, I guess, the stereo out. Mm, let's go back to one through nine. You got effects. Oh, look at that. Effects monitor. 
Let's go back to the page. So you see your, your flying faders. Uh, and then you got custom one, custom two. You can go to your outputs. Okay, these are your eight outputs. All right, so yeah, your 16 inputs, your eight outputs. That's cool. Then user define keys. I, oh, so this is home. So let's see, I can be over here. I guess you have to define what home is. Okay. Um, let me see, I can select this one channel. Let's select channel two. And it's on low, low frequency. This is the EQ, I believe. Let's see here. Initial data. Effects. Effects. Two. Mix. So maybe those are those. Oh, I see matrix and so effects. I make so these are. Uh, I guess these are your your. Oh, so you have effects one, effects two. You have mix one and through six, and I guess those are like uh, your auxiliary mixes or. Um, but you can send the monitors and stuff. Then you have a matrix. I don't know what that is. Matrix one, matrix two. Okay, so that doesn't change. Uh, let's see, I wanna see like a compressor. Oh, all right, so you can Q, I see your Q button. So you can Q, uh, you can turn it, I guess that would be your mute on off. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see here, what else? All right, so EQ, HPF, high pass filter. Okay, HPF, high pass filter. One, uh, so this must be your, uh, I think maybe this is your um, compressor. Dynamic one, dynamic two, I'm assuming that's what that stands for. Hmm. FX reverb, FX delay. Okay, so like, it is very intuitive. I just saw, uh, yeah, I just saw another picture. I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess it would be intuitive. I mean, I guess that makes sense. If you have, if you have mixer experience, I guess maybe. Ah, so if I double click on something, if I want to get into it, I can, I can double click on it. Oops. Or is it a long press? It's a long press. Long press and I'll go in and it'll go into the effects. So effects one, effects two. All right, so this is a sin. So I can send the effects to different mix where we saw the different mixes over there. Send to on, 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 yeah, pre, I guess pre post fader. What is this? So this is stereo recall. I'm not sure what that is. It says ST stereo, what is it? EQ, channel one, channel key. I guess this is where you can edit the name of it. Oh, is, is there a keypad? Okay, on-screen keypad. So if you want to name your channel, click that. Pulls up an on-screen keypad. So that's cool. Let me see how you, I saw an exit earlier or a home. You can just press that to go home, okay. So I see. Oh, you can just hit the, you wanna go through, I guess if you're, you wanna stay in the screen and, and shuffle through your different mics real quick so you can name them. That's cool. That's cool. And input. So here's your gain for your input. There's a mic, your plus 48 volts. I'm not sure what that is. I, uh, it looks familiar, but I can't think of what that is. Um, you can give it a name. And 10. Okay, how you go? X, go back. Gain. Man, it's really, uh, it's really neat.
Oh yeah, there's the headphones. Okay, after, so you can have your input, pre-fade, listen, after fade, listen, mix cue, last cue, stereo, playback. Oh, you can choose what you want to monitor. Mix, okay, monitor your, oh, that's cool. So you got stereo, choose what you want to monitor. Cue interruption. Cue interruption. I'm not sure if that's, I'm not sure what that means. I'll put on, I'll put off, clear cue. Quick way to clear all your cues if you have, should be like if I have, should be able to hit clear cue, yep, and it cuts those out. Very intuitive. Uh, built in tape, uh, or built in record, input, output. I guess you can. There's your recording format. It's a wave 96 kilohertz, 24 bit. You can change your different formats. MP3, MP3, three different types of MP3, wave. It might be more, I'm not sure if it, nah. Just five different formats you can choose. It's very intuitive. I mean, I'm, this is the first time I'm even seeing the mixer like in, up close, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. The layout makes sense, so. Right now I'm on channel one, set up on the EQ. They have a built-in, I, I, this probably is a high pass filter, but can I long press and it become low pass? I don't know. Mm. No, I don't long press. If I see a one, I'm not sure what, I'm sure there's some kind of way it can change to a high, uh, low pass filter too as well. But So there's the EQ, you can select your low mid, what is that, high mid, high. You can change it with the knob. I want to push the button. Oh. Nah, pushing the button changes it from uh, the gain to frequency. So I'll put the gain back to zero. Let's see if you get my gain back to zero. I can change my frequency. Oh, so I can change my frequency where I want the high and low. This is really neat. Really, really neat. Uh, let's see here. So this must be dynamic. I'm, I'm thinking this is compression, right? Yeah. I'm thinking that's what, or something. I, I'll have to see what, so one, I wonder if that's some kind of way you assigned it to like a, a preset. If you assigned it to one and then you can just, you can just choose one. Like you can go to different channels and say, I want it to be one and the same. Kind of like in um, Lightroom, and if you do any photo editing, where you can just say previous, you can have a photo, manipulate it, exposure and everything, and then you go look at another photo and just say, do all the changes I did to the last photo. So that's cool. Effects one. Oh, okay, so here's where you can go through your effects. Hmm. Oh, okay, hall, room. So there's a couple of different ones. I wonder if you can load effects on here. Oh, okay, you can. Stereo delay, okay, effects flanger, dual pitch, phaser. I don't know if anybody's gonna D, could you DJ with this mix? Well, there's no crossfade, so that'd be kind of weird. But it is set up like a DJ mixer, to be honest. But that's cool. R safe. I'm not sure what that is. Return effects, return effects bus safe all safe fader on name i'm not sure recall safe recall safe is that safe as in safe as in safe or is that safe as in a box where you store door uh store documents other channel link patch input patch output patch bus setup channel link Initial delay. Hmm. Now what is this? This is a sin sin two. So you can choose where you want it. Oh, it's all, it's sent to all, it's already on prefade. Again, that stereo. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Sin. Oh, it's the L C R. So stereo. You can turn it to the left. You can leave it center. Or you can turn it to the right. Okay. That's cool. I see that. 
I mean, well, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. And very nice. Headphones, cue monitor. Let's go back to tape. Stereo left, stereo right. Record, playback, cue. Administrator gas, okay. All operations permitted, and then you can have a gas. Oh, it's got a cancel. So you can lock the console. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Oh, oh. oh okay. That's kind of cool. So if you're you're concerned about somebody coming and making an adjustment or something while you're having a gig, you can lock the console so nobody can do anything. That's pretty neat. User account, so you can have it password protected. That's pretty cool. All right, oh, USB goes in. Let's see here. Got your USB stick right here, your phones, you got a man, you got a physical phone knob. And then I'm sure you have a digital knob as well. Man, I, I'm just, that's. All right, well, that's your first look over here at the Yamaha DM3. Uh, I'm pretty excited, pretty intuitive mixer, even for someone who only has limited experience with uh, digital mixing, but it looks like it has more than enough uh, bells and whistles to get the job done. I'm excited to uh, test out this form factor. Looks like I'm gonna need to get another table just so I can put it on, but it's very small. I, I guess I should get me a case because i um, <laughs> not trying to drop it, but thanks again for taking this first look with me at this Yamaha DM3. Available now at your local audio supply stores. All right. See you in the next one. Peace.